Good morning, folks. A lot of our clients are asking, hey, where do you think the mortgage industry is going? Where do you think real estate's going to be this year? Listen, I've said this before, I'm gonna keep saying it, buy a house. Just buy a house, right? Doesn't matter if you bought a house. If you bought a house before 2008 and the crash happened, that house is worth more now than it was when you bought it in before 2008. You buy a house today and the house crashes, the market crashes, eventually it's gonna go up, go back up. And look, we're not banking on a crash. I don't know if you paid attention, but there's no homes for sale. There's not enough homes for sale to feed the market. Builders slow it down too much. And then again, they slowed down when the rates started to go up and we still have a deficit of listings. Supply and demand, supply and demand. You home sellers are the supply. The demand is a growing economy, a growing population. It's only more and more people, right? So if there's more houses, or if there aren't more houses, your house is worth more. It's the way our economy works. Buy a house. Listen, if you have to bite the bullet and pay a little more than you wanted to, or pay a higher rate than you wanted to, you can refinance in the future. But it's better than renting, you know, if you're planning on staying. Obviously, if you're planning on moving soon, or you have other plans, then you might wanna consider renting. I'm not saying renting isn't for everyone. There are options for renting. But if you are planning on buying, sooner, the sooner the better. All the people that said before COVID said they were gonna wait, then the people during COVID said they were gonna wait, and then last year when the rates were high, people said they were gonna wait. What has happened? Houses have only gotten more expensive. So those people that bought in 2021, their house is worth more now. 2022, worth more now. 2023, worth more now. And the people that were smart and bought in 2023 when the rates were high, what happens when those rates go down? The houses in their neighborhood are gonna start selling for more than they paid for their house. And they're gonna have instant equity because your home's value is based on what the homes around your home is selling for. So if you ever take advice from me, it always pays to be a homeowner if you're planning on staying there for a while and if it makes sense, if the area makes sense for you and where you plan on being. But nine times out of 10, it makes sense. Buy a house.